Hello and welcome to my channel. This is my Rogue Hair of Elethorn box. I've had this since release, but I've not yet had a chance to paint them. But now it's time to correct that. As you can see, the set contains both the male and female equivalent of the same character, and we're going to paint them both up. First of all, I coat them both up with a grey primer. Then I added on a pale flesh for the hands and face. And this is followed up by a flesh wash to add some definition. And once that's dried, I paint the hair with yellow ochre. This is then enhanced with a little brown wash. For the grey coats, I went with a chocolate brown, as this was nice and dark and would contrast against the other colours. For the fur on the collar, I went with a white grey. And this is so we can differentiate it from the shirt, which is pure white. As there's going to be a lot of browns on these miniatures, I need to add a little bit of variety. So for the trousers, I went with a rusty orange. And for the boots, I went with a black brown. To give myself a little break from the clothing, i move on to the weapons. All the knife handles were painted in gold, and the blades were painted with gun metal. There's also some throwing daggers tucked into their waistbands. Both of these characters are wearing several straps or belts. So I made sure I painted them either lighter or darker than the coat. So that way we could still distinguish between them. And the pouch for the back of the belt was painted in a light leather colour. For all the white areas I added on a grey wash just to bring out some details. Then I dry brushed on a cream colour over both of the figures. And this helped to create some highlights. And then it's just a matter of painting the bases grey. I've kept my bases in keeping with my previous miniatures. And this is so they won't look out of place on stone tiles in the dungeon. And to top it off, I added a black trim around the base. And finally, I can spray on some matte sealer and protect the paint. And that's the rogue hair of Elethorn completed. Under my bright studio lights, the pale flesh colours have bleached out a little bit. And it's turned them anemic. But that won't be a problem once they go onto the game board. I do quite like the colour scheme though, as it has a parity feel to it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget, if I can do it, so can you.